day students and viewers. Welcome to my lesson. My name is Masha P. I'm from a Sibanisetu campus under Kher Sibande College. I'm an electrical lecturer engineering. Today, I'll, uh, join me in my lesson. Today, I'll be based on level three, electrical system and construction topic two. So topic two, it says inspection and testing of single phase domestic installation. We all know that when you talk about a, a inspection and testing a single phase installation, we need to understand the rules and regulations that uh, need to be followed. The, in South Africa, uh, is our requ requirement is for every user is, or any, any uh, lesson of electrical installation shall have a valid uh, of compliances, which is a certificate of compliances and test report which will be accompanying that uh, COC. So I'm going to move on. Before we move on to an inspection and test domestic installation, we need to understand the equipment that we'll be using, uh, that is going to install, that we're going to test. So the, the, uh, the equipment that we'll be looking at is a meter box and a distribution board. We're going to start with a meter box, and our learning outcomes is to identify the components that are found inside of a supply meter box and to know the purpose of uh, the meter box. From there, we will go to a distribution board. Right now, let's just focus on a meter box. So the meter box uh, is used to measure and record the amount of electricity that has been used. Or you can just say it's, a measure, uh, it's used to measure electrical energy that delivered to a, a, a consumers. So in a meter box, the meter box is consists of the following. Meter box is consists of the kilowatt hour meter. It consists of earth connections. It consists of uh, main circuit breakers. So this is what we're going to talk about. When we check a meter box, meter box can be put or can be installed uh, outside or, uh, or inside of premises. Most people, they prefer to use a meter box outside of a premises to assist municipality to read a meter easily. So not to wait for the owner of the property to come and unlock. Uh, the other meters has been used in inside. So we're going to learn more about those different types of meters that we are talking about here. We have a, a four different types of meter. Uh, number one is called a uh, older dial uh, type of meter. So we have number two is a numeric type of a meter. The last one, we have a prepaid type of meter. So those are the types of a uh, meter box that we are using. Although we are used to work with a prepaid, most of the time majority of community use a prepaid. The good, uh, the good thing about a prepaid is that uh, you can buy electricity upfront and then you can eliminate some depth. So this is the type of meter box that we'll be talking about. And then the purpose of this meter box are the same. The only differ is the display mechanism. So this is the, the type of meter box that we will be actually looking at it. Uh, later, I will show you, uh, demonstrate the kind of meter box that we are having, the kind of a meter box that we are using. So from now on about the meter box, is uh, we're going to move on from a meter box to a distribution board. So when you buy a distribution board, uh, you're going to classify it in a two different ways. You can buy a distribution board, uh, which is a surface type, or you can buy a flash type of a distribution board. So a distribution board is a component uh, of electricity supply system, which divides electric supply, uh, power to fit a sub circuit. So while providing a protective uh, fuse and circuit breakers of each common uh, enclosure. So a distribution board, when I'm talking about surface, I'm talking about mounting a distribution board out of the wall, outside of the wall. So when I'm talking about a flash, this is a type of a, a, a distribution board that you're going to put inside of the wall, which you'll be using such as a grinder to make sure that you mount all the, uh, the distribution board inside of that wall. So those are the different types of distribution board that are used. Uh, from there, distribution board, the function or the purpose of distribution board or the aim of distribution board is to distribute the power supply evenly throughout the building 
by the way of different sub-circuits. So we have a, a different sub-circuit inside of a distribution board. I will start with number one. The sub-circuit number one, it will be the light. Sub-circuit number two, it will be the a socket outlet. If you don't want to call it a, a socket outlet, you can just say a plug. We have a geyser circuit, we have a stove circuit, even though we have a, a bell circuit. Uh, this is the one that will be distributed to our home. So when we check all of this uh, sub circuit, those sub circuit has got uh, the size of ratings that you'll be looking at, the sizes of circuit breaker, the sizes of the wires that are used in that uh, uh, light circuit. So when we're talking about those light circuit, the wire or the conductor that we're going to use uh, is 1,5 millimeter squared, which, uh, which are using a circuit breaker of 10 amp. When we're going to talk about a socket outlet, the size of the wire for socket outlet is a 2,5 millimeter squared with the circuit breaker of 20 amp. When we go to a geyser, we have a size of circuit breaker which is 4 millimeter squared and the size of circuit breaker that is 20 amp. We can even go to a stove. When you use a stove, you buy a one, uh, uh, six or eight millimeter squared of this uh, wire, which we're going to use a circuit breaker of 35 to 40 M. So when we're talking about a bell, a bell, you can use one millimeter squared of your wire and you use one ampere uh, of your circuit breaker. So this is how a sub circuit uh, is inside of your distribution board. So. Uh, there is a, a components that are, are inside of a distribution board, or we can just say a distribution board is consists of the following components. Inside of a distribution board, we have a earth connection, we have a neutral bar, we have a various sizes of circuit breakers. We have earth leakage, we have a main switch, we have a search protection, we have a timer. All of these uh, equipments, they are protective devices that is going to be found in your distribution board. So in this, in, in this way, my next slide, uh, I will be showing you to what is the main switch, what is the earth leakage. What you see is the earth leakage. The earth leakage, you see it by a press button, and then we have a main switch, which if it's a residential, we're going to get it in a 60 m -M or 63 m. So I'm moving on. When we go to a various sizes of circuit breaker, we have a 10 amp, which is for lights. I already explained that one. A 20 amp, which is a socket outlet. We have a 35 or 40, which is a stove. We have a one that is a, a, a bell. So this is actually the different uh, types of uh, circuit breakers or the various sizes of circuit breakers that are found inside of a distribution board. We have another protective devices that is electronic timer. So electronic timer is a kind of equipment or protective devices uh, that is used to control uh, or to manage uh, electricity when you use a geyser to start in a time that you want your uh, geyser to start uh, working. So when we talk about a search protection, this is a component that is used to protect a lightning especially to protect your appliances and uh, not to get bent or not to get damaged by a lightning. So these are the main uh, protective devices that are found inside of a distribution board. Uh, once everything is done in a distribution board, once we install the meter box and then we are done with installing the uh, distribution board, everything has been installed, it's been connected. Then we'll become a uh, in a testing, we have to test our work. When we test our work, we do a testing for the purpose of safety. We, do a, we have to check to ensure that everyone is safe. And then around the circuit, we must make sure that you are safe. The appliances that are, are be connected, they are safe. So when I'm going to move on, when we test, with the insulation, there are some things that you need to follow. There are some rules and regulations that needs to be followed according to South African National Standards uh, 10142. So I'm going to move on. When we do a testing, 
first of all, we need to do a visual inspection. We need to do a visual inspection. So right now, I'm going to show you uh, the, the, the well installed a panel. So far, you know what is inside of a distribution board, what is inside of a meter box. We are going to move to a testing in the installation. So once everything is done, as you can see, this one is a wooden panel, but it can be house wiring. So we use this one uh, to just to demonstrate to you uh, about testing. So as you can see, when they say a visual inspection, you're going to start with a visual inspection. Make sure that before you do everything, before you touch everything, uh, this circuit must be safe all the time. Make sure that you selected the correct components. Make sure that the components are installed correctly. Make sure that your circuit is effed so there will be no uh, danger to anyone else and, and you. So what is actually happening here? My demonstration is that what you see on top, there is a, a light switching, we have a, a socket outlet switch, we have a timer, we have a daylight switch. Again, we have a stove uh, circuit here. So what is going to happen here? We will be looking at the inside of a distribution board. We check if every component is actually uh, connected correctly. We are seeing that we have an earth leakage. We have all the, 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 the components that we need or all the protective devices that we need. After we are sure that everything is correct, all the conductors are in a correct rating. Since I explained to you about the sizes of the conductors that you should use in a various sub circuits. So now, when I check this one, everything is fine. Now we need to test. We are done with a visual inspection. We will go into details about using some instrument. So what I have with me is some of the instrument that we are using to test this a wiring installation. So uh, the, we have different, uh, I think there are seven different types of uh, uh, instruments that we'll be using to test the, the, all the wiring installation. We are having a multimeter. We are having a mega. If you don't want to say a mega, you can just say insulation tester. We have a clamp on meter. What I'm having in my hand is a clamp on meter. So this one, you're going to use it to measure a current. So this is one of the instruments that you're going to use uh, to uh, test all your wiring uh, installation. When you check uh, the components that I'm having, it's called a uh, earth leakage tester, or you can just say it's a socket outlet tester. This one you're going to test the earth leakage. It has got a knob starting from zero. You just put this knob until you reach to 30 m. So the circuit breaker must trip to show that a circuit breaker is working properly, is in a good conditions. Then from there, I have a, a mega, the mega that I already explained to you. This one, you're going to use it to test a resistance. Uh, if you don't want to call it a mega, you can just say it's an insulation test. So this kind of a, a instrument is used to measure ohms. So uh, we have another instrument that we'll be using. It's called a multimeter. This is a multimeter. This multimeter, it measures uh, several uh, components. Uh, you can use it to measure a, a resistance. You can use it to measure a voltage. You can use it to measure a current. So it's called a multimeter. All of these components, we are going to use them to test our wiring installation. After we tested our wiring installation, then we go in to record all the values that we got from this uh, 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 instrument to our test report. So now, when you use a, a, a multimeter, you want to test a multimeter, there is a procedure. There is a procedure that needs to be followed when you use this instrument. So uh, we have actually uh, 16 test performance that we're going to perform uh, in our wiring installations. So number one, 
we have co uh, co continuity of bonding conductors, which uh, I'm just going to take fewer of this uh, testing. When we, we actually test the continuity of bonding conductors, we make sure that the main switch uh, is, is off. We're going to make sure that we switch off the main switch, and then once we are done using a main switch, we're going to use this instrument. We, we put our switch or our knob into ohms. A low value of ohms, a 200 or a 20. So it's the lower ohms that scale that you're going to put in this one. These are the leads, the one that you're going to use it to test. So you take one lead, it goes to F terminal. If it's a distribution board, I can put it in a, a F bar. The other one, it can go to any other a metal part. Any other metal part. So the value that you need to get, it must not exit 0, 0,2. If it exits 0, 0,2, it means there is something wrong. The value is unacceptable. So it must not reach a 0, 0,2. Two. So this is how you actually uh, test uh, using a multimeter. So some of the things which I already explained, we have a timer. This is a timer. This actually timer, uh, like I said, you can use to manage your electricity in your home. Uh, for a certain time, you can use a geyser. There are certain time you don't want to use a geyser. You can use it by setting it uh, according to your needs. So this is actually how you use the, the instrument. So what you see uh, here in this wooden panel, I've got uh, different types of switches that are used here, but all these switches that you are seeing here, they are used to control the lights, lighting system. So uh, we have a, a, a light, lamp number one, we have lamp number two, we have lamp number three, lamp number four, and lamp number five. So this is actually our lighting sub circuits. So when we go to a, a, a neck, a here in, in my left hand, right hand, we are seeing there is a cable. This uh, is a supply. It's where everything is going to be supplied. As you can see, I've got a three pin plug where I will actually put a supply on it. So the following things that I'm having here is a distribution board. So inside of this distribution board, we have uh, uh, different types of protective devices which are already explained. So with a, we've got the earth leakage, we have a circuit breaker. Those protective devices, they are working in the way that, in such a way that when there is a fault in the house, automatically this uh, uh, protective equi equipment or protective devices trips. So it shows you that there must be something fault in it. So you will see by uh, each or one of these uh, circuit breakers or one of these protective devices trip. So it's where you're going to find out where could be the fault of it. So when you rectify a fault in this uh, a distribution port, the, the first thing that you should do, you must make sure that you switch off all the circuit breakers or all the protective devices that are inside of a distribution port, and then you start uh, switching on one by one. If you switch on a, 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 a main switch, a earth leakage, you switch off, you switch the light on. Where there is a problem, you'll see it. Once you switch it on in a plug or 20 amp, you will see this circuit breaker is going to trip. Then now you can start following or finding a fault in that particular sub circuit. Now, we move on to this uh, uh, circuit breakers. We'll be talking about a search protection. This is a search protection. A search protection is actually a, 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 a lightning protection. It's, li it's actually protecting your appliances for, against lightning, and then it's been actually connected internally. It does not go out. When you check here, we've got wires. These wires is actually showing you that uh, when, you, uh, uh, when you, you, you supply the light, it goes out to the light. So when you check in search protection, you just connect inside of a distribution board, the output of this search protection will go to a F bar, meaning that this kind of a circuit or this kind of a device is used to protect uh, the appliances that we are using in our home, such as a TV and radio. So the, the, only the connection, it will end there. From there, I move on. This is the switch that will be controlling our 
uh, cooking appliances. Cooking appliances is the stove that you are seeing here. So uh, the connection of your stove, you just go at the back of, of your stove, all that uh, is been labeled. At the back, you're going to see a L. L means a live wire. You go in, if it's, it's a single phase. And then N, it means neutral, and we're going to find F. F is our, uh, you'll find a green and yellow in color. So in F, the purpose of F is to protect a you animals against shock. So uh, we're going to find it there. All you have to do is to just take uh, those wires and connect because it's been labeled uh, in it. So this is, it will be our stove. And then we have a socket outlet. Socket outlet is the plug. When you open a socket outlet at the back, you're going to find that the socket outlet is been labeled. Uh, when you check the labeling of a, a, a socket outlet, it's written L, it means it's where you're going to put your life wire, and then uh, if it's a neutral, it's black wire or blue, you're going to put it in a neutral, and then we have F that will be protecting us. Uh, you will see the earthing system or the earthing, a symbol that will be there, you just connect it uh, using your uh, correct sizes of your wire for connecting a socket outlet. So when I move from socket outlet, I will go to a day-night switch. Day-night switch is what you see here. It's a bluish, the one that you are seeing, this one. So a day-night switch, it works in this way. Uh, when it's dark, we are using a daylight switch. Uh, you can, uh, it's actually automated as got a sensor. When it's darker, and then it means your light outside will be all on. So when the, the, the sun comes out, and then automatically it will switch off, then the lights of outside will be off again. So it's only working in a dark place, or if maybe there is a cloudy. It does not actually work hand in hand with a sunlight. So uh, the sensor that has been installed inside of this uh, daylight switch. So now, when I move on, you can just see uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, later, I, I did talk about these uh, switches to say they are controlling the, the light. As you can see, we have a light down there uh, that is going to be controlled by these uh, switches that you are seeing here. So all in all, this is actually about the, the, uh, the, the inspection and testing of our electrical installation. Uh, all of these values that you got after testing is where you're going to record them in a test report. Your test report is going to be accompanied by certificate of compliance. Okay, so today our lesson was based on a testing installation on a single phase. I believe that today you've learned more about the uh, distribution board. You know more about the meter box. You, need, you know more about the testing instrument that I use to test your wiring installations. So all in all, the information that you are given here is coming from a topic two. Uh, just try to practice, especially visit your workshop, try to do practice more and more and more, then you will be able to understand or you'll be able to test uh, the equipment that you have in your workshop. So uh, this is, will be the end of my lesson. I hope you enjoy my lesson. Uh, see you next time.